Today we are taking a look at a new pretty cool bass amp sim. It's called Bass Knob from Borgen Digital and it promises a great bass sound with just one knob. Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugin special discounts and offers. And of course, if you really want to learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixfest TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks down here and support the channel. Let's get to the video. I want to jump right into the GUI because bass knob is a simple as it gets. You only have a power button, a clean and dirty switch, and a gain knob that sets the overall gain. The purpose of this plugin is one, and it's simple. Give you a great out of the box, or I should say in the box sound, with minimal tweaking and just focus on the performance. And I'll go ahead and say this, I'm usually pretty skeptical about the one knob plugins, but this packs some serious sauce. And I'm not surprised to be honest because Borgen Digital has a history of making great plugins for rock and metal specifically. The key to this simple yet effective bass amp simulator is not just what they modeled, but also how they modeled. They used a new capturing technology, but what they modeled is the personal and favorite Jans Bogren's amp rig the same sounds that he used in bands like Sepultura, Creator, Opeth, and many more. A well-known all-tube American classic tube head into a massive 8x10 cabinet. All of this captured with his favorite microphones, preamps, and processors. In short, a proven-to-work sound used in many records. Without further ado, let's see how it sounds. On top of the controls that we saw already, we have an input and output sliders here at the top also a tuner if you need it, and the option of turning off the cab impulse response that is built into the plugin in case you want to use your own IR, just an option because this one sounds great. So I collected a bunch of basic DI, pretty ugly <laughs> bass tracks to show you how this plugin works and we go from this. And this is the dirt. We have the clean setting. This could be the end of the video already because if you can turn that DI track into that bass sound, is already worth the $39.99 intro price, but we'll go more into detail. But jokes aside, you can recognize if you're familiar with the classic American tube amp that was modeled. And also I wanna say the cabinet, which I'm personally very familiar with. It is exactly that sound. And you can hear the more gain, the more saturation, it's just a combination of processes that take place under the hood. Uh, and we'll do a couple of examples, like I'm gonna tweak the basic sound that I get from, from one of these bass tracks. And we can also use this video for a quick how to mix bass kind of tutorial. Let's try on another bass track. This is kind of a very common DI sound, which is really not that great. It sounds like a piece of cardboard with this on. Just to give you an example of what could be the next first basic mixing move on this sound, we try to find that resonance right there in the low mid range. which is usually always located around 120 there and remove it with a dynamic EQ like this and compensate and we already have a killer sound. And we go from this with just two plugins. And even the clean sound, it's, it sounds really good. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, let's try another style, still rock, but a little less hardcore if you want to try that clean sound. And it's very dynamic and I love how it breaks very legit, I want to say, compared to the real deal. And even on a really bright mid forward and bassless track like this one. In this case, we can grab again our EQ and just control that clanginess in the mid range here. And maybe add a little bit of bottom, like deep bottom end. and do a little bit of push-pull, like dynamic push-pull. And again, we go from this. Really nice grow. Let's get a track going really quick with just a basic drum. Okay, so this is the bass sound that we have. gonna put our bass knob on it now try to control the big low end that he added a little bit And a little bit of distortion, saturation on top of it. Basic compressor on it. Maybe a little bit of top end, like really high top. Hanging out the drums a little bit. All right, of course, the level of my bass is right now on top of everything else because I'm demonstrating this plugin on the bass, but you get the idea, this is legit. And again, on this particular bass, we go from this. And if we want a little more distortion, I would be taking down a little bit of that clang or maybe add, let me do this, like a limiter on it and just crank the distortion. And recoup a little bit of that low end that I tamed earlier because when we add distortion, we kind of lose a little bit of low end and still lo-fi there. And 
it sounds pretty great to me. This is Bogren Bass Knob STD Classic one knob amp simulator with a lot going on under the hood. But again, not only lets you focus on the performance without having to tweak 50,000 knobs just to get going with the recording and have a really good sound, but it also gives you a pretty solid sound, a classic for rock and metal, which with few tweaks could very well end up in a record. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. You will find the link to Bass Knob in the description down below. I think there's still the intro price going, which is $39.99. If you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Click the join button, become a Mixbus TV member and access all the mixing and mastering courses. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.